So now let's see how to manage your inventory using the EOQ system or economic order quantity. So this is something that you have learned in management accounting. So again, for you to get a good revision of that, I have included a question. So once we are done with this question, you will be perfectly fine with the EOQ method, which is economic order quantity method. So I will explain this entire concept using this particular question. So let's read the question now. J has demanded 40,000 desks per annum. So this particular business is selling tables or desks. The purchase price of each table is $25. Each desk is $25. There are ordering cost of $20 for each order placed. That means every time when you are placing an order, there is a cost involved. Sometimes when you are placing an order, uh, there is an administration cost involved because your staff members should call for quotations. After that, they have to analyze the quotations. They have to compare it. After that, they have to select a best supplier. So in order to do that, there is a time involved. Time involved means uh, an employee's time involved means there is a cost involved. Apart from that, to deliver the product from your supplier's place to your place, Supplier sometimes he might charge a delivery cost from you. If not, if you are sending your own fleet, there is a cost involved for the fuel. There is a cost involved, and whatever the if the if the vehicle is getting depreciated, there is a cost involved. Likewise, here in this question, what I have given, in order to place each order, you will have to incur a cost of twenty dollars. An inventory holding cost amount to 10% per annum of the inventory value. So what they are telling, now what you have to understand, once you purchase these tables, you can't sell at once. What will happen, you will have to keep the tables in your warehouse for some number of days. You will have to hold the tables, you will have to keep it with you. So in order to keep it with you, you can't keep the tables for the free of charge inside your warehouse. Why is that? In order to hold the tables, in order to keep the tables somewhere, in order to store it somewhere, you should have a warehouse. For the warehouse, you have to pay a rent. If you have a warehouse, there should be a security. For the security, you have to pay a salary. Inside the warehouse, there will be staff working. So for that staff, you have to make a payment. And apart from that, whatever the materials that you are purchasing, whatever the goods that you are purchasing, you will have to take insurance. So why you are taking this insurance? Because you are storing it. Because you are holding it. So what you have to understand, once you purchase the inventory, there is a holding cost involved. So what I have given here, holding cost amount for 10% per annum of the inventory value. So inventory value is how much? $25. $25 of that 10%. That means in order to hold one unit, in order to hold one unit per annum for the entire year, how much is your cost? It is $2.5. So that is very important. If you are keeping one unit for the entire year, what is the cost of holding? It is $2.5. Likewise, if you keep two units for the entire year, that means for 365 days, for 12 months, then what will be your cost? It is $5. If you keep three units for the entire year, then your cost will be $7.5. That is, if you keep the entire, if you keep that particular unit for the entire year. So if you are keeping one unit for the entire year, how much is the holding cost? It is $2.5. Okay. Now here in this question, I have given you this particular company has a demand of 40,000 tables. That means 40,000 tables, you have the capacity of selling 40,000 tables. Okay. So when it's come to the number of tables, now if I want to sell 40,000 tables, what you have to understand, first of all, I have to purchase 40,000 tables. So when I am ordering and purchasing it, I have to order and purchase it. So when I am ordering or when I am purchasing this, what has happened was, according to this question, different managers are giving different opinions. Okay, let's assume like that. Manager A is telling, 
okay 40,000 tables that you want don't order 40,000 at once why if you order entire 40,000 at once you have to keep that in your warehouse so your holding cost will be higher why is that you should have a bigger warehouse to hold the entire 40,000 units just because you purchase 40,000 units you are not going to sell it at once no you are going to sell it over the year during the entire year only you are going to sell that 40,000 table so manager A is telling purchase 500 sell that 500 once that 500 is over again purchase another 500 again that 500 is over again purchase another 500 that is what manager A is telling but what manager B is telling he is telling don't order 500 if you order 500 500 500 you will have to place the order so many times approximately how many times if you are ordering 500 units per time if you need 40,000 units you will have to place the order 80 times that means this $20 cost you have to pay for how many times for 80 times therefore what man manager B is telling you don't order 500 500 you order 1000 units so if you order 1000 units how many times you will have to place the order only 40 times so you will have to incur this $20 cost only 40 times. What manager C is telling, no, you don't order like that, you order 1,250 units. That's what manager C is telling. Okay. And at last, you will go to that company and you will suggest something. Let's learn that one at the end of the, this particular question. Okay. So let's see, first of all, According to manager A's opinion, B's opinion, and C's opinion, what will be your annual cost with regarding to this material ordering? If you are ordering 500 units, what will be your annual cost? If you are ordering 1000 units, what will be your annual cost? If you are ordering 1250 units, what will be your annual cost? So let's get that understanding. So let's see, according to manager A, what will happen? according to manager A. So manager A what he is telling order 500 units. Okay. Order 500 units. So what you have to understand when you are calculating the total cost for this particular question. Okay. You have learned this one in management accounting also. Normally you will be considering three elements. What are the three elements? One is your purchasing cost of the materials. After that you have the ordering cost of the materials. After that you have the holding cost of the materials okay so according to manager a what you have to understand how many units that we are going to place for one phone call for one order how many units that we are ordering only 500 units i will call that supplier i will tell supplier send me 500 units once that 500 units are over again i will order another 500 again that 500 is over again i will order another 500 but somehow since here we are going to calculate the annual cost what is the cost for the entire year even though you order 500 500 500 entire 40,000 units should be ordered so 40,000 units should be ordered what's the purchase cost of each unit it is 25 dollars 25 dollars okay so what's the total purchasing cost it is 1 million total purchasing cost is how much 1 million okay how much is going to be your ordering cost? So you need 40,000 units per annum. You need 40,000 units per annum. How many units that you are ordering one time? You are ordering 500 units. Per time you are ordering 500 units. So if you order 500 units per time, how many times you will have to place the order? 80 times. You will have to place the order 80 times. So here space is enough i'll take this one little bit away so here i'll take the holding cost okay so if you place the order 80 times each and every time that you are placing the order your cost is how much 20 dollars 20 dollars so to place the order 80 times what will be your total cost total cost is thousand six hundred dollars that is the ordering cost and you have a holding cost also after you purchase this 500 units you have to store it in your warehouse then you will use that 500 units once that 500 units are over again you will order another 500 units again that 500 also over again you will order another 500 units 
so you have to calculate the holding cost so you know what's the formula to calculate the holding cost you have learned in the management accounting subject which is the end of knowledge level so knowledge level stuffs are very important so what's the formula to calculate the holding cost it is your order quantity divided by 2 plus buffer stock what is this buffer stock safety stock for safety purpose how many units that you are keeping into holding cost per unit per annum holding cost per unit per annum so here in this particular example according to manager a order quantity is how many units per time order quantity 500 units so 500 divided by 2 plus buffer stock is not given in this question it is 0 into holding cost per unit per annum so here in order to hold one unit per annum what is the cost it is 2.5 dollars it is 2.5 dollars so how much is the holding cost that you are getting 500 divided by 2 into 2.5 so you are getting a value of 625 dollars 625 dollars so what's the total cost per annum total cost per annum how much is that 1 million plus 1600 plus 625 so if you proceed with according to manager A's opinion your total cost will be how much 1 million 1 million 2225 dollars 1 million 2225 dollars that is if you proceed according to manager A's opinion now let's see according to manager B's opinion what will be your total cost. So what manager B is telling you purchase 1000 units per order. So you are going to purchase 1000 units per order. Okay. So your purchasing cost will be how much you will order 1000. Again that 1000 is over again you will order another 1000. Once that 1000 is over again you will order another 1000. Somehow for the entire year you will order all 40,000 units. So your purchasing cost will not change, Pur purchasing co cost will be the same. So it will be how much? 40,000 into 25. So how much is that? It is 1 million dollars. 1 million dollars. Ordering cost is going to be how much? 40,000 units you need for the entire year. Okay. Now according to manager B, how many units you are ordering? 1,000 units. So how many times you will have to place the order per time you are ordering 1000 units then in order to get that 40,000 units how many times you will have to order 40 times. So each and every time that you are placing the order there is a cost of $20. So how much is the total ordering cost for the entire year it will be $800. Okay. Now let's calculate the holding cost order quantity divided by 2 order quantity. It is 1000 divided by 2, no buffer stock, 0 into holding cost per unit per annum. How much is that? 2.5 dollars. So, how much is the value this time that you are getting? 1000 divided by 2 into 2.5. You are getting a value of 1250 dollars. 1250 dollars. So, what is the total cost according to manager B's opinion? 1250 plus 800 plus 1 million you are getting a value of 1 million 2050 dollars that is the total cost according to the manager B okay now let's see what will be the total cost according to manager C manager C what he is telling you don't order 500 you don't order 1000 you order 1250 units so if you order 1250 units let's see what will be your total cost so somehow you are going to order 40,000 units to order each unit there will be a cost of $25 so your purchasing cost is 1 million purchasing cost will not change unless there is a discount purchasing cost will not change unless there is a discount I will show you if there is a discount how the numbers will change so please be patient okay so somehow you want to order entire 40,000 units for the year for each order you are going to order 1250 units that means how many times you will have to place the order 40,000 divided by 1250 32 times you will have to place the order 32 times 
each and every time that you are placing the order your cost is $20 so how much is the total ordering cost it is $640 so how to calculate the holding cost order quantity divided by 2 1250 divided by 2 plus 0 into holding cost per unit per annum which is $2.5 so how much is that 1250 divided by 2 into 2.5 you are getting a value of 1500 and 1562.5 so what is the total cost according to manager c it is 1562.5 plus 640 plus 1 million so you are getting a total cost of 1 million 202 1 million 202 2202 1,202.5 Now you see according to these three managers opinion which manager has given the best opinion as of now according to manager A's opinion for one phone call if you order 500 units what will be your total cost 1,202.25 According to manager B for one phone call if you order 1000 units your total cost will be how much for a year it is 1,002,050 only. According to manager C if you order 1,250 units per phone call how much will be your total cost 1,002,202.5. So as of now which manager has given the best opinion as of now manager b has given the best opinion as of now manager b has given the best opinion why is that you see according to manager b your total cost is how much only one million two thousand fifty dollars only one million two thousand fifty here it is two 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 five here two two zero two point five so as of now which manager has given the best opinion manager b so let me let let me put these numbers into a small summary okay this ordering cost and holding cost so i am taking here my ordering cost i am taking the holding cost when i am ordering 500 units when i am ordering 500 units what is my ordering cost 1600 1600 Whereas holding cost is how much? 625. Okay. 625. When I am ordering 1000 units, what is my ordering cost? It is 800. Ordering cost is 800. Holding cost is how much? 1250. 1250. When I am ordering 1250 units, what will be my what is my ordering cost 640 and what is my holding cost it is 1562.5 1562.5 okay now when you are looking at this one thing that you have to understand when the number of units that you are ordering per order per phone call the number of units that you are ordering per order this is number of units number of units per order okay the number of units per order when it increases what's happening to the ordering cost ordering cost is decreasing when you are ordering 500 units your ordering cost is 1600 when you are ordering 1000 units per order your ordering cost is only 800 when you are ordering 1250 units per order your ordering cost is only 640 why your ordering cost is decreasing but you have to understand when you order higher number of units the number of times that you will have to place the order will get reduced if the number of time get reduced your ordering cost also will get reduced here see if you order 500 units 80 times if you order 1000 units only 40 times if you order 1250 units only 32 times so when you order more units what will happen your ordering cost will decrease 
because the number of times that you will have to place the order it is getting decreased but what you have to understand just because of that you can't go and purchase all 40,000 units at once from other end what's happening to the holding cost holding cost is increasing why is that here see here when you hold when you are ordering 500 units your holding cost is only 625 when you are ordering 1000 units your holding cost is 1250 when you are ordering 1250 units your holding cost is 1562.5 why your holding cost is increasing when you order more number of units what you have to understand just me let me give you give you an example you are ordering 1000 units okay if you are ordering 1000 units you might need a very small warehouse with one security the insurance that you have to take is very less so the rent that you have to pay for the warehouse is very low because your warehouse is small. If you order 2000 units at once, you might need a bigger warehouse in order to store all 2000 units. So your rent cost is high. The insurance cost is high. You might need two securities. If you order all 40,000 units at once, just think and see. You need a very big warehouse, very big warehouse. So if you are taking this size of warehouse, there will be a huge rent cost. You might need maybe 30 securities, lots of employees for this warehouse, lots of insurance. So your holding cost will increase when the number of ordering units increases. When you order more number of units per time, the, in order to store that units that you are ordering, you, you should have a bigger warehouse if it is high. Now here you need a smaller warehouse just to store 500 units. Here you need a little bit wea big warehouse. Why is that? You need to store 1000 units. Once your supply is in the products to you, you have to store it somewhere. Here if that is the case, you need a little bit wea little bit wea warehouse than 1000 units. One. Because you have to store all 1250 units. So what you have to understand when the number of units that you are ordering per order when it increases your ordering cost will decrease because the number of times that you are ordering is decreasing but your holding cost will increase why your holding cost will increase because you will have to hold a huge quantity so if based on this based on this i would like to draw a small graph okay so if this is your cost if this is the number of units per order number of units per order i would like to draw two lines one is uh, maybe a line which is sloping downwards another one is line which is sloping upwards okay so what you have to understand the line which is sloping downwards when your number of units increases when the number of units increases line which is sloping downward it should be what it should be your ordering cost because your ordering cost is decreasing the line which is sloping upwards it should be what it should be the holding cost okay so as of now as i said you which manager has given the best opinion manager b has given the best opinion now you might have another question here why are we dividing this ordering quantity by 2 again this is something that you might have studied in management accounting in your knowledge there but again i will uh, give you a good revision for that okay why you are dividing this order quantity by 2 what you have to understand let's take this first particular example okay you are ordering 500 units today when it's come to the second day in your warehouse, there won't be 500 units. There will be only 450 units. Third day, there will be only 400 units. Fourth day, there will be only 200 units. So when you use the number of units, your number of units will drop. Once it drops to zero, again you will order 500 units. Again you will use it, again you will use it, again you will use it, again it will drop to zero. Again you will order another 500. First day, you will have 500, second day only 450. Third day only 300, fourth day only 200. So what you have to understand is 500 units will not be there inside your warehouse for the entire year. Can you remember I said you this $2.5, $2.5 is the holding cost per unit if you are keeping that unit 
for the entire year for entire 365 days for entire 12 month if you keep one unit your holding cost per that unit is 2.5 dollars but here what you have to understand you are not keeping one unit for the entire year today you are having some number of units tomorrow it is getting reduced to 450 so in order to take this fluctuation into consideration only we are dividing this whole ordering cost by two but if you take the buffer stock buffer stock will be there for the entire year right if there is a policy in the company for safety purpose Minimum there should be 100 units so that 100 units will be there for the entire year. So for the buffer stock entire uh, holding cost should be calculated. But here for whatever the units that you are using for your sales purpose since that number of units will not be there for the entire entire year for the entire year. But you have to understand in order to take this fluctuation into consideration that's why we are dividing it by 2. So when it comes to 1000 units also say. You will order 1000, first day you will use 50. So for remaining 364 days, you will have only 950, right? Okay. So second day again, you will use 50. Third day again, you will use 50. So again, this will drop to zero. Again, you will order 1000. So you can't say that 1000 quantity will be there for the entire year, right? So it is going up and down. It is going up and down. So there is a fluctuation to take that fluctuation into consideration. Only we are calculating this average which is order quantity divided by 2. So according to this, here see, when the number of units that you are ordering increases, your ordering cost will decrease, holding cost will uh, increase. Okay. Now what you are doing, now these are the three opinions which is given by the managers. Okay. According to manager A, total cost is 1,2225. According to manager B, 1,2050. According to manager C, 1,2202.5. Now you are going to this company as an ACC student. Okay. You are telling all these opinions given by the managers are wrong. I will give you the best opinion. I will tell you the best number of units that you should order. I will tell you the best number of units. Best number of units. Now you are going to tell you you are going to tell the best number of units that you should order per order. It's not 500, it's not 1000, it's not 1250. I will tell you the best one. Now, as an ACC student, you are telling this. So, how you are going to calculate the best number of units that you should order per one order? How to calculate it? You have to use the EOQ formula. EOQ. Economic order quantity best order quantity e o q the best order quantity economic order quantity what is the best number of units that you should order per order what is the best number of units that you should purchase per order so how to calculate it again something that you have learned in management accounting knowledge level to into CO into D divided by CH. So 2 into CO means what? Cost of ordering per order. So cost of ordering per order in order to order one time. What is your cost? It is $20. $20. D is your annual demand. Annual demand is 40,000 units. 40,000 units. What is CH? It is your holding cost. If not cost of holding cost of holding of one unit what is the holding cost per unit so holding cost per unit is how much we calculated 2.5 dollars okay of that entire things square root so how many units that you are getting let's calculate it 2 into 20 into 40,000 divided by 2.5 how much is that you are getting a value of 800 units you are getting a value of 800 units. Now, what you are telling here, see, you shouldn't order 1000 units and all. In order to your cost to be at the lowest level, you have to order how many units? 800 units. Now, you are giving your opinion. Let's see, according to your opinion, are we getting the lowest cost or not? 
so your purchasing cost will not will not change you will order 800 you will use that 800 once that zero again you will order another 800 once it is zero again you will order, order another 800 once it is zero again you will order another 800 so somehow for the entire year you will order 40,000 units for each unit cost is $25 so here cost is going to be 1 million okay so your ordering cost is how much you need 40,000 units how many units you are going to order per order 800 units that means how many times you will have to place the order 50 times to place the order each time your cost is how much $20 so here total cost is how much $1000 okay so your holding cost is how much holding cost order quantity divided by 2 800 divided by 2 plus 0 no buffer stock into holding cost per unit per annum which is 2.5 so how much is the ordering holding cost that you are getting it is 1000 now let's see what is the total cost according to your opinion total cost according to your opinion 1 million 2000 according to your opinion total cost is how much 1 million 2000 dollars previously you said manager b gave the best opinion if i proceed with manager b's opinion my total cost will be 1 million 2050 now you went to that company you gave an opinion to purchase 800 units if they purchase 800 units per order what will be the total cost per annum 1 million 2000 so how did you calculate this best number of units to order economic order quantity using what formula EOQ formula. Now here see what you have to understand at EOQ your ordering cost also 1000 holding cost also 1000. Your EOQ is 800 units. 800 units is your EOQ. Okay. Your ordering cost also 1000, your holding cost also 1000. So I would like to ask you a question. What is this point? What is this point? So what is this number of units? Here this is number of units to be ordered per order. So what is this number of units? It is 800, which is your EOQ. So I would I would like to give you another one more line in your exam. Sometimes they can ask this one also. So what is this line? This is your total cost line. And this particular point, lowest point at the total cost, lowest point at the total cost, that is the total cost at EOQ. So this is the total cost, the lowest point at the total cost, that is total cost at the EOQ. So at 800 units, your total cost we calculated 1 million 2000 dollars. So as of now, we learn EOQ is the best order quantity. If you order at the EOQ, if you order the EOQ, your cost will be at the lowest. We proved it using some numbers. Manager B has given the best opinion before you give your opinion. But you went to that company, you gave your opinion. After your opinion, everyone agreed, okay, EOQ is the best order quantity. But that is not the case. Your supply is telling you something like this. Your supply is telling you something like this. Your supply is telling you, okay, here see. You don't order 500 units, 1000 units, 1250, 800. Okay. You order 20,000 units at once. I will give you a 5% discount. You order 20,000 units at once. I will give you a 5% discount. So what supply is telling 20,000 units with 5% discount. 5% discount. So if that is the case, how much will be your or purchasing cost? 40,000. Now each unit the price is not 25 you are getting 5% discount so 25 5% discount how to calculate simply you can take 95% so if you are getting 3% discount multiply from 97% if you are getting 2% discount multiply from 98% so these are certain basic shortcut methods of getting the answer so you might have studied these things in your knowledge level. 
So 25 into 95 percent. Why 95 percent? Because you are getting 5 percent discount. 25 into 0.95 or 95 percent. Now what is the purchase cost of a unit? It is 23.75. Now purchase cost of a unit is 23.75. Likewise, forty thousand units. So, what will be your purchase cost? Nine hundred and fifty thousand. Nine hundred and fifty thousand. Okay. What will be your ordering cost? Forty thousand units. You are ordering twenty thousand units per time. So, you will have to place the order how many times? Only two times. Only two times. So, each time when you are placing the order, cost is twenty. So, to place the order two times, your cost is forty. Next one is your holding cost. Order quantity twenty thousand divided by two plus buffer stock into holding cost per unit per annum. Now holding cost per unit per annum is how much? Here, see in this question they have given holding cost per unit per annum is ten percent of the inventory value. So here, ten percent of the inventory value is two point five. Ten percent of this 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 two point five. Now my inventory value is twenty three point seven five. So ten percent of that is how much? Two point three seven five. So how much will be my uh, holding cost if that is the case? Let's calculate twenty thousand divided by two. That means ten thousand into two point three seven five. So I am getting a value of twenty three thousand twenty three thousand seven hundred and fifty. So what is the total cost? Nine hundred and fifty thousand plus. Forty plus twenty three thousand seven hundred and fifty. Your total cost is nine hundred and seventy three thousand seven hundred and ninety. Big problem. What happened? You said you gave the best opinion, no? Now here is he. Supplier gave you a discount. If you order twenty thousand units with five percent discount, your annual cost will be how much? Only nine hundred and seventy three thousand. But if the company proceed with your opinion, which is EOQ, eight hundred units, the cost for the entire year will be how much? One million two thousand. So for you, it is more beneficial to purchase twenty thousand units with five percent discount, right? So what you have to understand, very important thing, EOQ will become the best order quantity. Only if there is no discount. If there is discount, you have to compare it and you have to see which one is the best. Ordering at EOQ, which is eight hundred units, is the best. Or ordering twenty thousand with five percent discount is the best. You have to do a good comparison. So here, see, you are uh, if you order twenty thousand units with five percent discount, your total cost will be only nine hundred and seventy three thousand seven ninety. So at this particular situation, in this particular situation, for you it is advisable to purchase twenty thousand units with five percent discount. Then your total cost will be only nine hundred and seventy three thousand seven hundred and ninety. If you order at EOQ. Your total cost will be one million two thousand. So remember, EOQ will become the best order quantity only if there is no discount. If there is discount, you have to compare the two and see. So this is how you can manage your inventory cost using the EOQ method. So I gave you a complete idea about EOQ using this one example. So, how to calculate the EOQ? This is the formula, and apart from that, we learn when the number of units per order when it increases, ordering cost decreases, holding cost increases, and at EOQ, if there is no buffer stock, remember, if there is no buffer stock at EOQ, your ordering cost and holding cost will be the same, and at last, I said you EOQ will become the best order quantity only if there is no discount. If there is discount, you have to compare these two and see. So this is how you can manage your inventory cost, or you can manage your inventory and element of working capital, an important element of working capital inventory using the EOQ method.